Hi everyone, thank you for tuning into my new channel. I decided to create this channel because I've had so many connection issues with my Xbox One and I found a way to fix it. My issues were a little more complex and I had to sort it out with the ISP, but this process should work for you unless you have a bigger issue. Okay, to start off, Let's go over to Airport Utility. To do that, just type it into Spotlight and it should come up. If that doesn't, just go into your Applications and then Utilities. Okay. And then your router should show up. Go ahead and click on it and click Edit. And let's go over to Internet. Make sure it's in DHCP mode and write down all of these items so that's your IPv4 address, your subnet mask, router address and DNS we're gonna use those later on in the video once you have done that, oh make sure not to write down mine, make sure to write down your own once you have that done let's go over to network and mine is in bridge mode and to do this actually you have to go over to DHCP and NAT okay now we're gonna go over to network options and then enable NAT port mapping protocol and then you can enable default host it should give you this IP address if it doesn't I would recommend using it the 253 because I'm going to be using that as well throughout the video. And make sure to write this IP down because we will also use this later. And then just check mark these two if it's not already. Then click save. Next we're going to go down to port settings. And by the way, you don't have to really worry about DHCP reservations. If all else fails, I would go ahead and do that, but you shouldn't need this. Okay, let's go down to port settings now and click plus. And by the way, you should not have any of these yet, so don't worry about it. You can name your Xbox whatever you want. I'm just going to cancel out of this so I can show you the ports to open up. And I'm also going to include this or the ports needed in the description. So don't worry if you can't read it on here. Okay. So these are the ports that you need to open up for the Xbox One. That's a little different than the original, I mean, the 360. So go ahead and do this and you don't have to make a new um, port setting for each one you can just put a comma between so you can pause the video and I'm going to continue now once you have that done just click save okay and you should have this IPv4 now for the Xbox One and you do not need the IPv6 unless you have some major issues with your network connection and for that I will make a separate video later on okay now that we have that done let's click update and we are now in the Xbox One section of the video I am terribly sorry for the quality but I realized that you cannot use the game DVR for settings well, anyways let's continue Okay, so let's go into settings and then network settings. And now you'd want to click on advanced settings. And then IP settings. And switch it to manual. Okay, from previously in this video, we wrote down an IP, and that was when we enabled the default host, and it should end in 253, 
and you would want to put that in this section. The next part of the settings will be um, the subnet mask, and we wrote that down when we were in the internet section of airport utility. So go ahead and find that, and then type it into the subnet mask section, and then click next again, or enter, and then type in the gateway. This was also on that same portion. And then click DNS settings. and same way manual and then enter in your primary DNS and you most likely don't have a secondary DNS so don't worry about that and then click back and then save if this video helped you please give me a thumbs up or a subscribe and I hope to put out one more video after this uh, in regards to the Xbox One and its NAT type some other options possibly so tune into that. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, and see you next time.